The million dollar question is, why use descriptive programming when the object identification process is handled so smoothly by QTP itself? What's the point in using descriptive programming? The answer is, suppose you're assigned to test a job portal. You enter a search query into the job portal, say QTP. Your test expects you to select all the available jobs and click the apply button. But the number of jobs reflected will depend upon the search query keyword and the jobs available at the time of strip execution. The main problem here is there is no way to predict in advance the number of jobs that would be reflected. In such cases, you can make use of descriptive programming. Even though you do not know the number and the names of the checkboxes. You do know that the class for the objects is web checkbox. You can use the child objects method to return objects belonging to a particular parent. A line of code like set all objects equals to browser dot page dot child objects will return all the objects for this page like the web button, web checkbox, the links. But we are interested only in the web checkbox object. To do so, we can create a filter object and set its property as web checkbox and pass this filter as an argument for the child object. In this case, only the checkboxes are returned Next, you can write a code like this, which will access the entire collection of checkboxes starting from zero and set all the checkboxes on. Next, you can click the apply button to complete the test. You can also use descriptive programming to record objects which are difficult to record like auto hide panels objects with changing hierarchies, nested inner objects, submenus. You can also do certain advanced string manipulations using descriptive programming. In conjunction with the index property, descriptive programming could be very useful in identifying difficult objects. That's all to the application of descriptive programming. A few pointers before we end this tutorial. If you used programmatic descriptions for an object in object hierarchy, you will need to use descriptive programming for succeeding child objects. For example, for the page object, descriptive programming was used, but for succeeding child object, when edit, object repository is used, which is incorrect, and the test will fail. On the contrary, here for both page and win edit, descriptive programming is used, which is correct.